Hi everyone, it's Danny here for Girl and a Movie and in today's video I'm going to be doing a review on the 2021 newly released Space Jam A New Legacy starring LeBron James. Now I've heard a lot of bad press about this movie and I thought it was great. I did. I really thought it was a great movie to go and watch. It is a kids film and here's the reasons why I thought Space Jam A New Legacy is a good three out of five okay so first visually this movie is really nice to watch um it takes real life and a little bit of animation as well and i just thought it was vibrant the colors were great the animation was great even when the looney tunes went from 2d to more 3d i still thought it was great um this film follows the story of lebron james who is an athlete basketball player and he is trying to get his children um, focused and into basketball. However, his youngest son, he's more into video games and um, unbeknownst to LeBron James, his son has actually created his own video game. And I've heard a lot of um, other YouTubers say, you know, oh, this movie's about LeBron James being a bad dad. I didn't think that at all. LeBron James is a great dad. And the reasons why I think this is because He's giving discipline into his children. He's telling his children that nothing's going to be given to you or handed to you on your plate. You have to work hard. You have to put in the effort. And I thought it was absolutely great. From Throughout the movie, though, as well, um, yeah, you, you see it unraveling where LeBron James is, you know, not listening to his children. He wants them to get into basketball. But then through, as the movie progresses, he understands. And the message behind this movie is about, you know, yeah, we all want our children to have greatness and we all feel that we have to instill rules and motivate our children, you know, do this, put that away, you've got no respect. And it, this movie made me realise as a mum, you know, it, it's not just about instilling values in your children, it's about getting to know your children, find out what makes them tick. And I mean, I'm not saying that, I, you know, I'm the best mum in the world. Us parents, we fail a lot of the time. We think that we're doing, you know, a really rubbish job. But for me, coming out of that movie, I just thought, you know what? It's about celebrating your children, celebrating their personalities. And I just thought that was a really nice message to have. Um, the Warner Brothers as well. I really liked the universes that the Warner Brothers um, film, you know, is, is within. And I love seeing the gremlins. That really made me laugh in the cinema. Um, and there were loads of different things and productions that I never actually knew Warner Brothers were part of. Um, so there's quite a lot when, I think it's more in the second act and the third act, um, that you start seeing uh, around the basketball court all the different um, productions that Warner Brothers are part. So I was actually like looking, going, oh, there's Pennywise. And oh my God, that was the mystery machine. And it was just, I just thought it was great. I really did. I thought it was fun and um, it had me laughing. There's that part where LeBron James was a 2D character and he even compared himself to Kev Hart. I thought it's light fun. It's a kid's film. Something you can sit back, not take too seriously um, and just enjoy it with the family. Um, another thing that I really enjoyed as well is LeBron James's performance. A lot of, um, he has had a lot of stick about his performance saying, oh, it's another athlete turning into, you know, trying his luck at acting or becoming a Hollywood actor. Well, do you know what? Kudos to LeBron James. I think his performance was okay. It's not, it's no like Leonardo DiCaprio or Jack Nicholson's performance. You know, he, he's not an actor at the end of the day. He's an athlete. And for him to get on stage in a green room, talking to himself in front of a director and cast and do this performance, I thought, you know, hats off to you, Le LeBron. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, it's not a stellar performance, but what do you expect? You know, we as YouTubers, and especially for me, when I first got in front of the camera, I couldn't even talk. <laughs> It'd take me a while, you know, I felt like I had a lump in my throat. And, you know, for somebody who's starting out, who isn't, you know, as an actor, as their general, you know, career path, but going outside their comfort zone and trying it, you know, good on him. I, I think I think he did a great performance. And from what he was working with, you know, these are invisible actors, you know, invi well, invisible characters. And um, for the fact that he got up and he, he did what he did, I thought it was great. I really did. And I mean, I was thinking, you know, when I was listening, oh God, you know, 
some people were not really sold on his performance and he did get a little bit slated just for you've got actors out there like the rock and uh, like john cena david batista they're not they never came out as actors they were all sportsmen and some of their first productions that you know the films that they did um at the start you know it, it wasn't you know a stellar performance but with time and with practice you know you get better you get more confident and i just think you know it is a kids film it wasn't bad it wasn't the worst kids film i've ever seen but there was a lot of positives to it that i actually really enjoyed um so if you've not seen it go 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 and watch it with an open mind sit back don't take it too seriously and just enjoy it it is there was a point where and i think this is where a lot of people might be referring to it, there was a point where i was thinking this is like nuts this is so random um, oh my god what is going on and then i thought it's warner Bros. and it's looney tunes it is going to be back crazy um everything's going to be random and it's just going to be mind-boggling madness and it was and i just think it was an okay movie um great for the kids when we when we came out of the cinema i said to my little girl and her friend I said did you enjoy that and they were like yeah it was so good and that's the thing it was a kid's movie and we have to remember you know the kids in ourselves just to sit back and just have fun not take it too seriously and for me i would definitely go and watch it again maybe not the cinema maybe at home um but it was a great experience it was great to be back in the cinemas watching a, you know light-hearted movie and for me you know i would definitely recommend people just to go in with an open mind and not take it too seriously so for me i would give space jam a new legacy solid three out of five i hope you've liked this video um if you want you can give me a thumbs up subscribe if you'd like and until my next video take care and bye for now